All right, everybody, welcome back to our 14 and 1 February specials. We're going to keep things going with Jeopardy for the Nintendo 64, which will count as game 14 of my original round, which I've won $165,299 so far. Let's see if we can build that total up even higher. I think we can. And now, here's our host, Alex Trebek. Welcome to your favorite game of Answers and Questions. You know who the contestants are. So let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one day to all. Categories for you are as follows. We have parrots, potpourri, notable names, bon appetit, weather, and we'll close it out with languages. Make a selection. I'll take Bon Appetit 100. One recipe for Boyan de Scargos calls for 36 of these. Already shelled. Uh, what are snails? That's a correct response. Select again. Bon Appetit 200. Classic sauce for seafood. Remoulade is made by adding herbs and mustard to this emulsion. Russian dressing? Nope. Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? Mayonnaise. Take a guess. A bottle of T300. In the dish, canard roti au pêche. This meat is served with peaches. What is duck? You got it. Bon Appetit 400. Select again. This creamy leek and potato soup was created in the U.S. by a French chef. What is Vichy Soir? That's right. Bon Appetit 500. Select again. Filled with various mixtures, champignons, farcis are stuffed ones of these. What are mushrooms? Right. There we go. Select again. Uh, I'll take languages for 100, please. This language was formed mainly from the SV dialect spoken in and around Stockholm. Svea, however you say it. I don't know how you say it, but either way. What is Swedish? You got it. Language is 200. Select again. This language is also called Holland. What is Dutch? That's right. Select again. A language is for 300. The standard form of this Bantu language is based on the Kyungju. Kimguja dialect of Tanzania. What is Swahili? You got it. Language is 400. I'll try for it. It's an official language of Haiti, the United Nations, and Belgium. What is French? That's a correct response. Let's close it up. This language invented by Dr. Zamenhof has the fewest irregular verbs. None. A 
Esperanto? You got it. Wow. Make a selection. In 1988, Gilbert, one of these storms, devastated Jamaica with wind gusts over 200 miles per hour. What is a hurricane? Right. Weather 200. Make a selection. Eskimos have many names for this, including Pukak for the kind that looks like salt. What is snow? That's right. Select again. Weather 300. In the 1980s, researchers put Toto, a 400 pound package of instruments, in the path of these storms. What are tornadoes? You got it. Weather for 400. Select again. The city of Chirapunji, India holds the record for the most of this in the 12 month period 1,041.8 inches. What is rain? Let's close it out. These winds are classified on the Beaufort scale as stronger than breezes, but less severe than storms. What are trade winds? No. What are monsoons? Um... No. Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? I don't know. Gales. Take a hit. It's okay. Uh, notable names 100. The great French chef Escoffier created this fruit dessert in honor of opera singer Nelba, Nellie Melba. Uh, I don't know. Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone it's else? not. It's not coming to me. Peach Melba. Select again. Uh, oh well. In 1903, he built what is now a world famous chocolate factory near his Pennsylvania birthplace. Who is Hershey? You got it. Select again. In 1963, this photographer and conservationist received the John Muir Award from the Sierra Club. Ansel Adams. That's right. Make a selection. Parrots, 100. This parrot feature is divided into an upper and lower mandible. What is a beak? Right. Make a selection. Parrots, 200. The kakapo, an endangered flightless parrot, was once a principal food of these New Zealand natives. For the Maori. That's right. Select again. Lovebirds originated in Africa and on this largest African island.
What is Madagascar? You got it. Select again. Almost all parrot eggs are this color, like those of most birds who nest in holes. Flight. Select again. Okay. Scarlet is often considered the most beautiful member of this group of large parrots. A lorikeet? Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? A macaw. Select again. This billionaire who died in 1936 dropped out of sight in the 1950s, refusing to appear or be photographed. Who is Howard Hughes? That's a correct response. Select again. New service founded by a man who was created a baron by the Duke of Sacky Coburg Gotha in 1871. Reuters? You got it. Make a selection. Its state flower is the orange blossom. What is Florida? That's right. 200. Make a selection. From 1877 to 1885, the Liberty Bell was hung in Independence Hall from a chain of this many links. It was 13 Make a for the original 13 colonies. This nut is also known as the Queensland's nut. The Queensland nut. My bad. The macadamia. In 1780, Zadok Benedict established the USA's first hat factory in Danbury in this state. The state was Connecticut. Make a selection. Chevalier is the French equivalent of this British rank of honor. It's night. All right, it's time now for the double Jeopardy round. Remember, we have two daily doubles in this round of play. I'm going to leave $5,500. Categories for you are as follows. The movies. Ooh, okay. Good. Opera. Uh-oh. Hail to the Chief. Mm. Architecture. Mm. Libraries. Mm. December 25th. All right. Make a selection. Francois Enabique was a pioneer in the use of this reinforced material in architecture. 
What is steel? Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Concrete. Select again. The 1791 Mozart opera is the greatest example of Zabaropper or magic opera. What is the magic flute? That's right. Upper 400? French playwright Prosper Merimi wrote the novel on which this Bizet opera is based. Was Carmen? That's right. Select again. This Norwegian completed only three scenes of Olav Tryggvason, his sole attempt at opera. Who is Henrik Ibsen? No. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Edvard Grieg. Oh, Grieg, how do you say it? Right. Make a selection. This state's first large library was the Supreme Court and State Law Library in Montgomery. What is Alabama? That's right. Make a selection. Library's 400. This Rhode Island Capitals Public Library contains the Harris Collection on the Civil War and Slavery. What is Providence? That's a correct response. Library 600. Select again. And today, one of the two million I'll take a chance. Architect Frank Furness designed the 1891 Library, now an art gallery, at this Philadelphia University. Oh gosh. Mm. What is Oh God? What is Fisher Fine Arts? Or, no. What is the University of Pennsylvania? Uh, it's too oh, late. Sorry, that's wrong. University of Pennsylvania. Again. Too, too late. It's too late. Oh, well. Ah. Pittsburgh's main public library. It was founded in 1895 and named for a steel manufacturer. What is the Carnegie Library? That's right. There we go. Select again. We gotta make a huge comeback. The Rutherford B. Hayes Presidential Center in Fremont in this state was the first presidential library. What is Ma Massachusetts? No. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Too late. Uh. Ohio? That's right. Wow. Make a selection. Name shared by a Handel opera, a General and Verdi's Attila, and Mr. Pinza of the Met. That's right. Oh boy. So I, I shouldn't have taken a chance. On December 25th, 1973, U.S. astronauts on this space station photographed Comet Kohutik.
Skylab. You got it. Yeah. Make a selection. This Chinese-born American architect designed Beijing's Jianshan Hotel. Who's I am Pei? That's right. Make a selection. Architecture 600. Sir Edwin Lutyens designed the Viceroy's house, now Rashtrapati Bhavan, in this city. New Delhi? Right. Make a selection. Placido Domingo started a 1992 ver TV version of Tosca, taped in its actual settings in this capital. What is Madrid? Wrong. Oh, man. Anyone else? Rome. Right. Make a selection. This U.S. city stockyards opened December 25th, 1865 on a tract of reclaimed swampland southwest of the city. Kansas City. Sorry, no. wrong. Anyone else? Chicago. Okay. I wasn't sure. Make a selection. Benjamin Latrobe redid redid much of his redid much of his own work on this Washington building after the 1814 fire. <laughs> The capital. Make a selection. The movies, all right. He played street smart Detroit police officer Axel Foley in three Beverly Hills cop movies. Who is Eddie Murphy? That's a correct response. Make a selection. This, this Silence of the Lambs character first appeared in the 1986 film Manhunter. Who is Hannibal Lecter? You got it. Select again. Star Brandon Lee died during the filming of this 1994 release. What is the crow? You got it. All right. Select again. Oops, December 25th. Okay, I have to wait for a dial, but I don't have a choice. In 1989, Bernstein conducted Beethoven's Ninth at a celebration of this landmark's destruction. Oh, no problem. What's the Berlin Wall? That's right. There we go. Select again. Yay me. This actress was the romantic focus of two old coots played by Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau in Grumpy Old Men. Oh. Oh, who is M. Margaret? M. Margaret. You got it. Select again. The 1994 sequel to this Billy Crystal movie was subtitled The Legend of Curly's Gold. What is City Slickers? That's a correct response. Select again. On December 25th, 1941, the British surrendered this colony to the Japanese.
Singapore? Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Hong Kong. Select again. This Nazi designed the new Reich Chancellery and the Nuremberg Zeppelin field for Adolf Hitler. Uh, I don't know this one. Albert Speer. All right. The, this world leader resigned as president December 25th, 1991. Who is Mikhail Gorbachev? Or, no, not Gorbachev. There we go. Again. Now we're getting somewhere. Before becoming U.S. president, he was president of the Georgia Crop Improvement Association. Uh, who is Jimmy Carter? That's a correct response. Select again. 400. William Henry Harrison's monogram was WHH, and this president's monogram was WGH. Who is Warren G. Harding? You got it. Head with the cheaper six. Select again. This 22nd and 24th president wrote several books, including fishing and shooting sketches. And it was Grover Cleveland. Select again. Let's close it out. Let's go to 800. He was the first Federalist elected president of the United States. And it was George Washington. Select again. His last words were, I know that I'm going where Lucy is. Who is Rutherford B. Hayes? That's right. $5,800. All right, players, start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. 19th century literature. All right. And your final Jeopardy answer is... Stephen Crane considered calling this novel Private Fleming His Various Battles. What is the Red Badge of Courage? Let's see if our questions were successful. What did you put down as your response? You got it. Yep. So I bounced back beautifully and winning eleven thousand six hundred dollars. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. It is not the American West. You got it. So I won eleven thousand six hundred dollars this game, and that now brings me up to a fourteen game winning total of one hundred seventy six thousand eight hundred ninety nine dollars. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. We will. Good game. Go on, everybody. I'm going to see you all for that next segment.
do it again real soon.